so buying your first car is like one of the biggest achievements that could ever happen in anyone's life i don't know about you but for me buying my first car meant the world to me so keeping in mind that by the time i left uganda i did not drive i did not drive at any point in time my mom used to tell me oh rich i'll take you to driving school oh she actually told me mommy i always remind her <laughs> she told me in my third year of law school i'd actually have a car so i i don't know i mean responsibilities and everything and everything so if you're watching my first for the very first time my name is rachel agasha and on the channel we talk about the united states of america i share my experiences in america the challenges i have faced the things that i have done the mistakes i have made that i wish you would not have to make yeah telling you the things that i wish someone else had told me you know yeah so i'm really excited thank you for choosing to watch this video on the channel i talk about different things uh if you have any questions leave them in the comment section um today we're going to be talking about buying cars yeah so if you feel like you have something else to add to whatever it is that i'm going to be saying be sure to leave it in the comment section i really really appreciate the comments if you have any questions i take time to answer and reply to most of the comments actually all of the comments in my comment section sometimes it may take some time and i'm sorry but i make sure i get back to those so if you have any questions leave them in there when i do not have a direct answer i always do some kind of research and i also speak mostly from my experience i love to talk about things that i have knowledge about because at this point i am speaking facts and not just speculating but if you share or if you know something different from what i am saying do not feel the need to attack me i always say that you don't need to attack me because we're trying to inform other people we're starting to share knowledge here so just leave your opinion in the comment section and that will be very very much appreciated now for you to be able to buy a car or drive a car someone would want to think you have to know how to drive again speaking from my experience i did not know how to drive when i bought my first car now driving is not you knowing where the accelerator is and the brakes and all that stuff driving is a lot of things and i learned that should i say the hard way no gradually yeah so uh when i came from uganda like i said i have already said this and i'm very proud i was still living home with my mother and my siblings and my family yeah and uh i never got a chance to go to driving school so of course now it's time for me to travel and my host is like oh Rachel needs to know how to drive she needs to be able to drive because driving is actually a necessity if you live in the dmv if you live in those states that are not so busy where the public transport is really reliable driving is a necessity for me when i came to the united states of america i think one of the major things that i bought was actually a car and like i said your host will either make you or break you my host was amazing yeah so you want someone who's going to not be afraid to tell you the things that you actually need to know yeah best believe some hosts are good and some hosts are eh yeah but we're not talking about that today we're talking about buying a car so for me my host was like you know what you definitely go to the car because i was working and where i was working i had to uber and i would spend about a hundred dollars one day you're going to work for 120 those are like six hours and you're out here spending 100 dollars on transport uh -huh. yeah it's not that there's no public transport but it's 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 i don't know i could say not flexible i don't know bottom line is a car is a necessity so what do you need to know about buying your first car first of all buying a car in the united states is not as um as complicated as it is back home in our Af Af in our african countries so much comes with buying a car it's very expensive i mean it's it's just so much just the thought of oh i need a car if you do not have millions and millions of money then no you're not getting a car the united states makes things a bit easier so you like literally walk into a dealership be like okay this is my this is my amount this is my budget this is what i have so can i see a car in this range 
then they'll take you around and show you oh we have this we have this and this and this and this what do you like what's your preference what are you looking for exactly now uh for someone like me who did not who had little to no knowledge about cars at all um i walk into this dealership <laughs> And I have my money because I had made, um, had been saving and you know, they've told me a car is a necessity. I have taken all these driving lessons and I can promise you, I do not know how to drive because I did not know what I was doing. But you know, you're doing a few lessons. Meanwhile, my driving lessons were $45 an hour. So that was not little money. So I'll do like two hours. I'm like, you know what? No. So I got to this dealership and, um, buy a car. I think my first car was uh, 1,200, 1, I think it was 1,400, 1, I think 1,400, 1,400, 1,200, something like that. So I get this car, I am very happy, very excited. My horse is also excited for me. So we go home in my car and we get we get home it was really old it was a chevy um i forget the year i forget there but i know it was a chevrolet so um <laughs> i'm very excited i tell my family about it i remember my mom goes hey Rachel, your car is ugly <laughs> you guys um my car was actually ugly but of course everyone will tell you your first car doesn't have to be pretty your first car doesn't have to be flashy and all those things but if you can get you a pretty car like if you can afford it please buy it so of course i paid cash for my car and they gave me my car my car keys and i went home so one to three days later because when they give it to you as is you buy it as is yeah with all its complications you need to take it for inspection now here they do inspection and all those things so i take this car for inspection and um <laughs> this mechanic or technician puts this car up on the lift and he's like what this guy literally said my car was a piece of junk his exact words were this car is a piece of junk it is not it is not suitable to be on the road it should not be on the road it is a piece of junk so <laughs> at this point i have spent my money and i'm looking at this guy like but you, you're even funny. I was just laughing because why are you calling my car a piece of junk? Also, why did this guy sell me a piece of junk? So I'm like, okay, thank you, no problem. We drive a car back. Me, mind you, I still can't drive. Yeah, I still cannot drive. Also, you're not going to take that car. Okay, let's let's let's, let's go step by step. So that will be a whole story of another day. But like I was saying, you walk into this dealership. You pay for your car, then they'll ask you for for insurance. Yeah, you need to have insurance. You cannot take your car from a dealership before paying for insurance. That's one of the prerequisites that you have to show. Then you pay for the tags and uh, yeah, take your car home. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about driver's licenses. Now, for you to be able to drive, you definitely need a driver's license. So if you have been driving in your foreign country, you have your driver's license, it helps. These guys, it's normally called maybe the MVA, if you're in Maryland, Mar MVA or the DMV, like wherever it is that they register cars from. They have like a book with pictures of all the driver's licenses of different countries so when you come with your driver's license from your country you show it then they just how is it called upgrade or something like that so your driver's license in your country is not useless you actually need it so keep it keep it but for me in my situation i had not driven before so you were required to do um uh driver's uh i mean a computer test yeah so um i went to this place did my computer test and failed the first time so there are two sets of exams i don't know if this is how it is in all the states but the two sets of computer tests i should say the first one you can't afford to fail even one thing 
in this test yeah the second one you can afford to fail only three questions yeah so i go to do my job my computer test and i fail the first time and i'm very disappointed i remember i cried in the uber guys like don't worry me i failed five times i came back the first time did failed second time came back five but i'm driving don't worry you're going to be fine so this guy gave me some sort of card i'm like okay you know what okay so i go home and read my my host is like you know what the test the questions because all these things in this country if someone is doing it for the first time someone has done it before so just go to the internet i went to the internet gave us my whole day went through all the questions and then went back the next day so when i went back the next day i i did my computer test and passed it and then i got my driver's permit right so now we're talking driver's licenses when you get here you can upgrade that to the united states license now there's also what they call international driver's licenses now it's okay you can have that but it will not work forever it will only work for a while and then you would definitely need to upgrade to a united states what driver's license do not over rely on it because everything has an expiration point and now if you're in this country why are you using the international driver's license eh? anywho so there's that option of buying cars from a dealership and then there's also people who sell cars out of the the dealership yeah so one of the best ways for you to actually buy your car is hi i like this car i have paid cash for it let me go with my car yeah there you do not have so many restrictions because like i said when you pay for a car before i mean for as long as you have a car in this country you're definitely going to pay for insurance you pay for insurance every month and this insurance varies yeah depending on how long you've driven how many accidents you've caused how much damage you've caused so it's all those things put together now as a new driver chances are very high your insurance is going to be high yeah now there's another option of if you're buying your car from the dealership often time if you see what you like um you can pay for it slowly we call it the car note or financing yeah so you pay you make like a down payment and then they'll tell you you can pay this amount for this period of time the problem with that is when you you're financing a car your insurance is full coverage full coverage for an entire car yeah so if you have issues or if you you knock down someone or you damage someone's property and you need to 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 compensate them in any way you're fully covered because you are still financing the car so you possess the car but you technically don't own it you just possess it so until you finish paying the entire amount then this is not your car like entirely really <laughs> so the beauty of this though is it helps you build your credit so every time you pay you make your payment on time it helps you build your credit yeah so another thing the in regard to buying a car on the other hand if you just pay cash for your car and like have it done and out of the way you can choose to pay uh liability just insurance for liability of if you caused an accident or if you knocked down someone or knocked someone's car so your insurance comes in at that point just for liability so at that point insurance is a bit lower unlike when you're doing full coverage yeah when you go to apply for your oh sorry when you go to sit for your driver's license test or whatever test that driver's test that one you need you are required to carry uh two two proofs of address i should say yeah so you need a government issued id or anything in that regard and maybe a bill yeah a bill could be an electric be an electric bill a phone bill whatever bill it is that you can get so they just want to 
prove 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 that you live wherever it is that you're saying you live practically so that is practically everything that you need so your tech home today should be buying a car is not rocket science buying a car is really easy and it's everything that i just talked about in this video i really hope i made sense to you so uh sometimes people opt for an option where um because as a new driver you're new so these insurance guys don't trust you so your insurance they may be going to be up that side but there's an option where you can talk to someone who's already driving who already has insurance and then they add you to their insurance so as you grow your credibility i should say yeah so that by the time you decide to be independent you what your insurance plan is not so high yeah so i think that's pretty much everything that i wanted to talk about in this video that is practically everything that you need to know okay not really everything that's why i say if you feel like you have a different opinion you can leave that in the comment section again the very many places where you can buy a car people get their cars and put them on facebook marketplace people have their cars sitting in their homes and they have those part those um for sale ads or notice sales you know so if you rent a car it's really easy to get a car in this country you don't have to overthink it yeah unless you really want a big beautiful new car which is also easy to get yeah that is the beauty of this country you don't have to hustle so much to actually get a car yeah so i think i'll talk about the story of buying my first car in another video but this was like a whole other a whole uh buying your first car thing video and i hope i gave you a reason to subscribe i'll see you in our next video stay safe and take care bye bye